for the global community. Uh, the last time we caught up with our game changer of the day, his business had just hit the ground. Um, fast forward probably more than 365 days right now, and um, he's in a building. El Tigre is not only surviving the pandemic, but the company is moving with actual tiger's pace and force. Uh, we have owner in the building uh, with the owner's outfit of El Tigre. Sathy, what's up, my G? All right, man. How you doing? I'm good, man. You look, you, you really look like um, the, the El Tigre mafia bosses in town. Ah, uh, listen, we, 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 we don't condone that M word. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I, I, love, I love the merch. Um, it, looks, it looks fire, but before we even get into merchandise, before we even get into El Tigre anything, man, how is Sathy in 2021? Uh, a lot, a lot better than 2020. Is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's, what's, what's uh, really the biggest difference, man? Uh, I think, I guess, I don't want to sound corny, but like, you know, just like growth and happiness and, yeah. you know, all of that good stuff of, you know, self-reflection and uh, actually figuring out what you want to do in life, so. Was it, was it the, the time that the pandemic afforded you uh, that helped with that? I think it was the time. I think it was also like pressure and stress mm -hmm. uh, just lets you kind of like step back and reevaluate everything that you have in your life and just mm -hmm. figure out is this necessary or not yeah. and kind of just like trim off like the bad fat, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, now walk me through the, the roller coaster that El Tigre was on in the past year. I can only imagine you, you get your business off the ground and then in steps COVID. Yeah, yeah. Um, shakes tables. What? Like, how was that, man? Walk me through that whole process. Uh -huh. It was interesting because, you know, one point of view was, okay, you know, this whole lockdown and everything has come through. Mm -hmm. uh, we kind of have to, like, you know, shut our boards and just close down shop for a while. Mm -hmm. But then another school of thought was okay maybe now we can actually see whether this business is going to work and if the demand is there mm -hmm. so i downscaled operation i was running it by myself for a while my girlfriend would come in and step in to help me out um i had an employee on the books that I'm, unfortunately i couldn't afford at the time but yeah. she was she understood mm -hmm. um and then yeah like during lockdown i just kind of made a plan so you know, we weren't operating normal hours, but yeah. somehow people knew that we were still open. We would get like three, four customers a day, which mm -hmm. kind of helped to balance books, yeah. which was, uh, I, I really appreciated it, you know, it was, it meant a lot that mm -hmm. there were still people that want to enjoy the food that we make, yeah. even though, you know, purse strings are tight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, in the midst of, of all of that madness, um, recipe wise, uh, did that also just give you a chance to like, like shake things up or it, um, it, how, how did that go? Yeah, it did. I think like if you, if you compare our menu when we started to actually like what we're serving now, yeah. there's, been a, there's been a stark difference to everything that we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, I think, you know, when you have a passion for cooking but you get bogged down in admin and all kinds of other stuff, mm -hmm. you kind of forget about the main reason why you opened up your business. Mm. Um, and just me being alone in the kitchen, nobody to bother me, it was kind of just a chance for me to get back to basics with what we were doing. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there's been a lot of, uh, there's been a lot of inspiring moments, mm -hmm. which I think you can see now in our menu. At the Brewers Market is kind of updated to like eight different tacos, mm. uh, a whole bunch of like side dishes, different ideas that it keep popping out. Yeah. So. It's it's been a it's been a, a nice creative space for me. Yeah. Yeah. Amidst all the other nonsense going on. Yeah. 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 Um, now I, I don't even know how to ask this. In in the kitchen. Yeah. As CEO. Yeah. <laughs> Are you more Oliver or are you more Gordon? I know. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't have time for this <laughs> love, dear nonsense. It's, yeah. You would. You follow my way or you get out. Yeah. yeah polite. That's the politest way I can put it. Sadly, I, I go. I go very quick to Gordon. <laughs> my my girlfriend's been in the firing line with yeah. it, and she'll attest to to see my Gordon Ramsay moments in yeah. the kitchen. So. Yeah, I, I, I run a tight ship. Mm. <laughs> I run a tight ship. I demand perfection. I demand excellence. Yeah. Which I know is impossible 100% of the time, but mm. I expect it at least 99% of yeah. the time. Yeah. <laughs> Big difference. Big di <laughs> um, 
what are some of the, the, the biggest changes that we can expect to see? Um, obviously, there's a, a certain big move that, you, that you've made uh, yeah. recently. Yeah, yeah, the Checkers, yeah. talk to me about that. Yeah, so it was, it was a very fortuitous, very lucky move that actually kind of happened. Mm -hmm. um, higher ups at Checkers were with friends of mine that are clients of theirs. And it just so happens that their delivery landed at the time that they had this meeting. Yeah. They saw the food, they're like, what's going on? And it's kind of been something that we've been working on since last year. Yeah. Um, it just only materialized in the past month. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, at the moment we have a, I don't, I don't want to call it a pop-up, mm -hmm. but it's a, we have a stall, we have a stand at Checkers. Mm -hmm. um, and what we've done for Checkers is we've actually created a whole new menu for them exclusively. Mm. Um, so there's a, there's a whole separation between the Checkers menu and the Brewers Market menu. Yeah. And basically the idea is that, you know, you go to Checkers, you get your groceries, whatever you love buy. Mm -hmm. And in the middle of it, you know, you're feeling a bit snackish or, you, you know, you're buying groceries. Doesn't mean you actually want to cook dinner tonight. Yeah. You get some tacos or burrito bowls or croquettes on the way home and dinner is sorted, you know, lunch is sorted. So, so for you, what is, what is the, give me your top two, one from Brewers. One from checkers. I love all my children equally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no favorites. But, but off the record, uh, I what? think I think my favorite one at Brewers um, has to be a new one that I came up with called uh, Jaffna Koli. Okay. So Jaffna is actually the name of the area where my parents are from in Sri Lanka. Okay. And Koli in my language in Tamil means chicken, so it's uh, Jaffna chicken. Okay. And it's basically on a march to my culture, mm -hmm. our food styles, but like amalgamated into a taco. Yeah. So it's a uh, spice grilled chicken with uh, cucumber, red onion, raita and a special salsa verde made out of curry leaves. It's, it's the best thing to get yeah. your taste buds, man, yeah. In, in terms of, um, that, that's in terms of the end product now, the, the, the final product, what you enjoy the most, but what do you enjoy cooking the most? Oh, what is, what is that one that you're just like, man, I can't wait to, to get in the kitchen and just be, be artistic and creative with this one? Are we talking about like what I cook at home or what I cook in the restaurant? Because that's two different things. Is it? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? I, I don't, what I cook at the restaurant isn't what I cook at home. What do you cook at home? Uh, at home, I make like, I make like gourmet junk food <laughs> and uh, a lot of like East Asian dishes uh, and Italian dishes. Yeah. So like I like making, you know, different kinds of like stir fries and noodles. Mm. Um, I like ramen, like proper Japanese ramen. Mm. Um, the OG stuff. Yeah, okay. but like uh, pasta as well. Pasta is my favorite, man. I'll, mm. Yeah, even like after like a night out, I'll get home at like five in the morning and I'll make pasta. Like, what? Yeah, like I, I, won't, I won't mess around with like funny takeaway food. I'll, I'll make pasta at home at five in the morning and then yeah. eat that, yeah. Now to, to what degree, um, you, you said like that particular dish, um, just paying homage to your, oh, yeah. your culture. How much has culture just impacted the business and especially at a time like this where everyone kind of um, family just became so much more important yeah, yeah. in this very sensitive time how much more has has the culture influenced the the food um i think it's it's influenced us quite greatly yeah. i mean to be honest my my business wouldn't survive without without the help of my family yeah uh you know, when I'm too busy, whatever, yeah. uh, my mom actually helps me make tortillas yeah. for the kitchen. So half the time, the tortillas that you guys are eating, is yeah. my mom's made it herself. Yeah. You know? And my dad's been so supportive, my brother's been supportive. So yeah, like, I guess through that, it's kind of why I want to explore more like my culture and imbue it with my food that we're serving people so mm -hmm. we can actually make you know, Sri Lankan food more accessible to, to people. So we're mm -hmm. calling it a taco, but it's... It's Sri Lankan. It's Sri Lankan, yeah, yeah. 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 Wrapped up in it. It's, it's, it's a look of a taco with the drive of, an, of something else. To be honest, man, a tortilla and a roti are exactly the same thing. Man. <laughs> it's just made by two different people on different ends of the world, so... Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, just, just for people to get in touch with you, um, more specifically with, with people that want the checkers menu, of LT grade, yeah. Which which checkers do, do we run up on in store? So we are we are only available at the Grove Mall for now. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, if 
everything goes well, touch wood, mm -hmm. uh, then uh, then we'll be expanding into Marua and then into Vernil and who knows where else. Yeah. Um, but yeah, at the moment at the Grove Mall, um, you can find our menu on our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, I believe you guys have all the handles, so that's sort yeah. of that. Yeah, yeah, we got you. Yeah, yeah. We got you. And uh, obviously Brewer's Market as well, standard procedure. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's where you get the usuals, man. That's right, that's right. And, and also, yeah. also we, have a, we have a new thing that, um, I guess, I kind of made it to, to help out my friends that don't know how to cook. Mm -hmm. So we do this thing. Like myself. Uh, like yourself, yeah. <laughs> we do this thing, it's the DIY meal kit. Okay. So you basically buy a box that comes with all of our ingredients in it, mm -hmm. um, a list of instructions, and you just have to follow the instructions, heat up the tortillas, cook the protein, plate it up, and you show off to your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your partner, whomever, yeah. that you're the jefe in the kitchen just like I am, you know? Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. Date night just got switched up, man. <laughs> uh, we appreciate you, Sethi, for coming through and, and just giving us a, an insight into everything El Tigre. Um, we'll be looking forward to these endeavors, man. Big moves. It's been a year, and and like we said, you survived the the, the, the pandemic, uh, the business survived the pandemic, and you obviously survived. You feel like it feels like you're in a good space as well. You're in a good place for the business, and we can't wait to see where you where you take this, man. Thank you, script. I appreciate it. And I can't wait to try the food. By the way, Sathi brought food for me. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And and it's good because I didn't have breakfast. I had to rush to work. <laughs> so this is very convenient. Of of the things that you brought, first of all, tell me everything that you brought so, and what I'm gonna enjoy the most. So I brought you. Uh, I brought you a. I'm actually just trying to remember. Yeah. <laughs> a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. Uh, no, we brought you pulled pork tacos. Mm -hmm. um, I got you a pulled pork, sorry, a pulled chicken burrito bowl. Mm -hmm. And we also have this little side dish starter. It's called croquetas. Mm -hmm. Very nice. It's uh, savory rice and sweet potato put together in a sphere. We roll it in Japanese breadcrumbs and deep fried. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah. Man, even just the description, I'm hungry. I know everyone else is listening, like, oh my goodness, this sounds like script is going to have the best morning. <laughs> but yes, you are our game changer of the day. Thank you so much for pulling up, and uh, we'll chat to you in another 365 and, and hopefully, you know, stratosphere, man. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it so much. Let's dive back into the kingdom. Um, I have the feel good food, so it's time for the feel good music. Fields, up next, Calvin Harris, Pharrell Williams, Big Sean, and Katy Perry, right here on The Kingdom, 99.